In his last national address, President Museveni announced that schools across the country would reopen on the 15th of October for candidate classes. He highlighted that the finalists will be initiated back into the schools as were far fewer than the total number of enrolled learners. However, he insisted that the SOPs put in place by the Minister of Health be observed. Ahead of the agreed starting date, private school owners have today demonstrated how standard operating procedures can be implemented when the students return to class. I want to see children getting infected in the schools. The school heads also showcased how social distancing can be observed in both the classes and dormitories. One child per bed. It's a decal is one child. Mm. So it's going to be like an alternate. One, one slips up, then the next bed, this one slips down, then the third bed, the child slips up. However, the school heads highlighted that the high cost of implementing these SOPs does not justify increasing tuition fees unless an agreement on the matter is reached with the parents of the learners. You know, it is as if we are starting all over again. We know we are sharing custom roses, but for the future, because we shall establish a good relationship with our parents. So, ideas of increasing school fees, we hope it will not be there. We shall suffer the cost, but a school is at liberty, because it's a private school. If it so agrees with the parents, then they can increase. Meanwhile, the school owners are worried about whether many girls who are pregnant may not be able to return to class. When a child is pregnant, if exams are there, I think children should have a right to do the exams. But a pregnant girl is a, a, a girl who needs a very special attention. And I would say that that will depend again upon schools. It will be an administrative issue to handle. And also depend maybe on the number of children. Like the other day we had that in Kavari district alone, 2,000, almost 3,000 girls are pregnant in this spell of uh, six months. The school heads also pledged to do their level best to show the teachers how best to implement the relevant SOPs in place to avoid the spread of COVID-19. In boarding schools, the teachers reside in the schools, so the teachers will be with the children. In the day schools, here in Kampala, we are not able to control the time of when the teachers are in the school and when they are out of school. But we are cautioning the teachers so that they can manage themselves well wherever they are. Raymond Tamale, NTV. I think the second is